Welcome to another wonderful adventure of things maybe forgotten about Hollywood with Manny Pacheco. <laughs> Manny, good to see you. Well, it's good to see you both. You're looking fit as a fiddle. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Hey, oh, right here. Yeah. Manny, you know, Art and I uh, review uh, old movies for uh, Grace on uh, Vintage Film Channel. We review the old movies and TVs. We've been looking at a lot of uh, old cowboy movies, and it made me think that the chase scene goes back to the earliest silent movies. Mm. The chase scene, now of course, are cars chasing each other, but back then it was a, a, a cowboys chasing each other on horseback, or maybe chasing a, a stagecoach or a train. Or the Keystone, uh, or the Keystone a, Cops. Well, okay. that has nothing to do with Western. Sure. But okay, we no, anyway, no, 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 we're talking problem. about chase scenes. Yeah, we're talking about chase Here's scenes. My problem. It seems to me that the chase scene was uniquely cinematic. That before mm. movies, what did we have? We had books. People didn't write about chase scenes the same way yeah. that you could do in a film. Once we got to this, even silent films, the chase scene just started getting bigger and bigger and bigger and faster and faster. And more technologically complex, am I correct? Yeah, well, I thought they were pretty big in the silent era, though. I mean, they could do a lot of stuff. Uh, well, there were a lot of stunts. A yeah, a lot of stunts. I mean, if you if you want to talk about the comedies of Max Sennett, as Art alluded to, uh, with the Keystone Cops, I mean, Max Sennett essentially invented the comedic uh, chase scene. And just about every actor got involved with a chase scene, including Fatty Arbuckle, and uh, Edgar Kennedy and Wallace Ford. I mean, there were so many of these great comedians that cut their teeth being chased around. And of course, they had that circular thing that they had in the middle of the studio set where you could just run in place and the thing would move and it would look yeah. like you're being chased. Yeah. And of course, they would do these wonderful stunts that were done live without stunt people. The actors were actually involved. So they had to get it right the first time. Yeah. Because the cars were going to be demolished, and I don't know how these actors got away with it unscathed, but yeah. it was it was remarkable what they could accomplish in 1916 and yeah. in 1920 and in 1925. And of course, um, if you want to include in the silent era the chariot race scene that goes on in Ben Hur, the original. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not talking 1959, but that was a, some semblance of a kind of a chase sure. where they're racing around each other, and and uh, the silent actors, Ramon Navarro was one of them. They're you know they're 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 trying to. Um, attack each other while they're racing and, and it's in essence sort of a chase that's exciting it's it's fun to watch so as sounds a sound the sound era emerged uh we ended up with uh, movies that love these these car chase slapstick or adventure oh i forgot to mention also the perils of pauline those <laughs> serials of the of the silent era where they would Sorry. always you know, people are racing to save Pauline, who is strapped to a train track. And will yeah. they get there on time? We'll see next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, you, you know, once we hit the the era of automobiles, the chase just transformed into high speed. And of course, the the one of the most famous chase scenes, auto auto chase scenes, is in Bullet. Well, it uh, might be where the they're race. going over the hills of San Francisco. I'm going to go yeah, before that. Race. The French Connection. That's the one and that the, I remember. I was going to say. Yeah. In New York. And yeah, under both, the they, uh, it, L. Yeah, they both came out at the same time, like mm. in early 70s. I think chase scenes were back in. Yeah. And, and of course, we, it didn't hurt that a number of actors of that era were really into uh, road racing. Yeah. So yeah. you had actors oh, look, Steve like... McQueen. Steve McQueen, yes. for sure. Steve McQueen for sure, Paul Newman, yeah. James Garner. I mean, they were all road racing aficionados and they yeah. wanted to do their own stunts. And um, they may have got away with it every once in a while, those, those those stunts. But I mean, how exciting is Bullet? I mean, you're just, you're, you're, you're that talk about white knuckle entertainment right yeah. there. And the French Connection, when they're going in and out of the, underneath the, the subway, I don't know if that was the L or that was in uh, yeah. New York. Yeah. It was New York. Yeah, that looks. I don't know how they didn't get into any kind of accidents at all. 
And and you know every movie has some semblance of a a, a, cha- a minor chasing. If you remember the screwball comedies of the seventies, um, uh, what's up, Doc? Yeah, had, had mm-hmm. a chase scene. If you remember, and they, they yeah. all end up in the they all end up in the water, but they're going to they're going to through a, a uh, you know a Chinese parade, and they're they're going again up in I believe up and down um, uh, the streets of San Francisco because there's lots of hills. So I, I I'm not sure that it is. San Francisco, but it's pretty, it's pretty remarkable. Um, there was also foul play with Goldie Hawn and, and Chevy Chase. Sure. I believe there was a chase scene in that as well. But we can't forget one of my favorite chases. I know you like the French Connection and you like Bullet, which were just, like I said, white knuckle entertainment. But what about the chase scene? And it's a mad, 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 mad world. Oh. <laughs> After Spencer Tracy has taken the money from all of these goofballs, yeah. they chase them, and of course they end up in a big, big, you know, a building, and they lose the money at the top yeah. of the building, and it flies everywhere. But to get there, they gotta they gotta cross all of Long Beach and San Diego because that's where they were filmed. Of course, it all began uh, right down the California incline uh, into Pacific Palisades. I, what a remarkable chase scene that was! Between well, the whole, us the whole movie scene. was one big chase scene. Well, that. you're right. The whole movie was. Yeah. <laughs> that was the plot. That was... <laughs> you're... Okay, but, but, you're right. but you know it something, Manny? What, what you've really done for us is you brought us on the history of coming to chase scenes from whether it be the Keystone Cops or the the uh, uh, dramas talk about the early westerns is always people chasing somebody else on a horse. But yeah. but as as things have developed, those original chase scenes have become more and more dramatic with, and I won't talk about things like the Fast and Furious, but I will talk about things, you know my favorite is the Bourne, the Bourne yeah. series. Okay, those chase scenes, add, add cameras, add uh, uh, special effects yeah. and things like that. And you can, you can do stuff that is really amazing. Uh, May I see? May I say Please. my my old childhood friend Christopher Rouse, who won an Oscar for his cinema uh, cinematography on the Bourne, one of the Bourne movies, mm-hmm. because he created that shaking idea during the chases, which even added more of the intensity to those chases. Yeah. I'm very proud. I didn't go to high school with him, but we both competed in forensic and speech tournaments. He went to Birmingham High School. I went to Van Nuys High School. And he uh, and his father was an Oscar winning. I don't want to digress, but his his father won an Oscar. But he went the way of, of cinematographers, and he created that that tension that you see in the Bourne films with the shaking camera that you later saw in Captain Phillips as well. Yeah. Um, that shaking camera that just is so unsettling, and then add to that a chase scene, and it, I mean you're at the edge of your seat, and yeah. that's. That's something I'm proud to say that I actually have a connection and a friendship with with uh, with my friend Christopher Rouse. <laughs> well, you're b- bouncing back and forth a little bit. Uh, was it North by Northwest? Hitchcock used them very effectively. That was with the uh, being chased around on by an airplane. I mean, there there are. Um, <laughs> yeah, the crop duster. Yeah. But, you know, that does come to mind. Just recently, I've been watching a series of those. You know those. Um, those um, uh, detective dramas of the 1940s that, that were produced by Warner Brothers and others. Oh, sure. Well, and, it's a cop you know, right. Like Dick Tracy and Michael Shane and Bulldog Drummond and Boston Blackie and yeah. the Lone Wolf and the Falcon. They always have these chase scenes through of the course. streets. And, you know, it's not that they're moving fast, but I think they actually speed up the film to make it look like they're going mm, actually I'm fast. I'm sure they did. I'm sure they did. Any it's, trick to make it. They always end up near a cliff, don't you? You know, it just seems like they're always rounding a cliff, like yeah. they're about to go off that cliff. I don't know how they would do that, yeah. but it was. Well, it was, I, I would like to end. I would like to end with a tribute to an early, like your friend Chris, uh, an early cinematographer. Actually, he wasn't necessarily a cinematographer. He was, I think, a stunt man and a stunt coordinator and an actor, and his name was Yakima Knut. Oh, yeah. And he's the guy that is credited with one of the early, I don't know what you call it, innovations for chase scenes. He took a camera. Uh, it was, I think it was a, a horse, uh, you know, riders chasing each other. He took a camera and he half buried it in the ground 
and had the horses or maybe a stagecoach race right on top of the camera, right over it. it was, right. It's an exciting innovation. Simple idea, but Yaka Canute got the idea for it and went down in history as uh, an innovation related to chase scenes. That is a, a fitting tribute and a great way to end this segment. I agree with you, John. Bravo to you. Well, and a happy Canute. Happy Canutes to you. <laughs> For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.